hello welcome to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Lindsay if you're returning hello my name is still Lindsay um before we even make this a long intro because yes I I do that I ramble we're not going to do that so this is my anime fashion haul anime clothing haul however you want to call it me showing off my pieces, me showing you where I found them, me showing you different ways of how I personally style them and maybe giving you tips on how to style them yourself. So without further ado, we're just gonna get into the video. All right, first on the list is Hypeland. This is from the Inuyasha collab. Um, I honestly, when I saw this shirt, I mostly wanted it for the tie dye. I'm not gonna lie, I really like the tie. Like, don't get me wrong, I like Inuyasha. Um, Koga, to me, in my opinion, I love Koga more than Inuyasha. Oh, so sorry, unpopular opinion. I'm sorry. Okay, um, back to the shirt. Uh, yes, Hypeland. Hypeland. Of course, this is the group of everybody. There is Moroku, you have Kagome, you have Sango. I think Shippo's on there. It's a Shomaru. Oh! They got some Shomaru and not Shippo. Ooh. And of course, Inuyasha. Um, yes. That. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I can ramble before we get even further, like I said in the intro just now. So I will probably be bouncing all over the place. But yes, um, I love this shirt. I kind of style this in a more kind of casual way, typically with like some joggers. I like to try to pull colors out of the shirt if I can um, and just kind of give it a more relaxed look. Since it's just a t-shirt, you don't really have to do too much with t-shirts. But yeah, just kind of keep it casual, kind of keep it with the oversized look. You will see through this haul that I, I tend to like things oversized. So. If you are interested in tricks on how I kind of finagle that because <laughs> I can get a little overboard with my oversized looks. So yeah, so that one is just a kind of bit of a more oversized setting for me and that's kind of just how I style that one. So yeah. All right, for this next piece, this is for the women, the our fems however you identify yourself and you just are interested in showing off the body the hips the dips and all oh i was gonna say another word but we're not going to do that but yes this is a brand that one that i started following recently they are called bad waifu and she, her style, the stuff that she's coming out with, I absolutely love. I remember when I first saw this bodysuit on the site, I, I had to have it. And the, the biggest thing, the key component that made me wanna get this was the back detail. Like this back, this back, this back, yes. I, I needed it mostly for the back. Like, yes, anime and chill. We can chill all day. I got streaming services on deck of just anime, but I'm just saying the back sold me. Sold me. Um, but yes, of course, like I said, the bodysuit, something just a little bit more form fitting, something a little bit more feminine. Definitely trying to introduce and really push anime looks and just in general, but for the women, for fems, whatever, like because of course we like anime so giving us something that where we can still wear it in a more sexier way kind of like a going out type of thing still of course for me i still kind of keep it semi casual somewhat street wear so if you're interested in something a little more sexy and something that's still anime bad waifu and just so you know i will link everything in the description below all the things that i can link because i will let you know that some of these items are not necessarily being sold anymore or they've sold out there are no restocks but the ones that i can post down below i will post down below but i will definitely link everybody's like contacts information their websites and of course their instagram pages where i found them so yes check those down below all right for this next shirt again oversized t-shirts I, I've mentioned it, I love my oversized, especially when it comes to the tees. 
so this one actually i found this artist i don't even remember how i found them but definitely found them on instagram which if you want to follow me there shameless plug but honestly even without the shameless plug that's just where i really find a lot of the creators the designers anybody who's just doing like this anime stuff anime merch any just animes in general instagram is definitely the spot where i find like where i found all of these all of the people that will be mentioning this video but back to this shirt this shirt <sighs> this show shirt the show everything nana like if you know about nana oh my gosh i absolutely love nana i'm side tangent very, very quickly kind of quickly um i'm re-watching nana right now if you want to know where to watch it it's on high dive yes it's streaming on high dive so check it out on high dive if you've never seen nana um you will go through feelings lots of feelings you will have self-reflection watching nana um if you're young hopefully these will teach you lessons of what not to do or what not to do if you're older reflect remember and know that you've grown that's nana but also this shirt back to the shirt i absolutely love 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 the art style her name is sarah thursday um she has like i really like her color combinations where she kind of sticks with like the whites and the blacks and i think like gray tones and then just like adds these pops of red i really really love that and i love like the bold lines and everything she really has this i don't even know how to describe her art style but yeah i found her instagram um i absolutely love her art style. i'm not sure if she has more of the nana shirts but i do believe that she has a few other anime inspired shirts and stuff but she also has her own her own drawings that she has so i would definitely encourage you guys to check out her instagram check out her page i think she has a patreon in general and like not just shirts she does like other things which is i find that super dope like you can get stickers you can get like posters i think she has some notebooks for a while so yes i absolutely love that shirt and for the way how i styled this oversized shirt um because it hits me pretty long i kind of can get away with wearing it as a dress so i kind of i wanted to kind of pull some nana osaki kind of styling so when i was trying to style this and i was trying to channel my inner punk rock blast nana look ready to kick somebody in the face and kind of just trying to pull that energy so that's how i went with styling this one again just another way how styling when it comes to the t-shirts if you want to try a little bit more something that is more tailored to even the aesthetic on the shirt especially because i think some people are doing like cyberpunk um with the anime characters that they do on the shirt trying to draw that within the whole entire look so that could be something that you do whenever you're collecting these anime tees uh that kind of reflect within the drawing of what's going on on there all right i'm sure hopefully everybody has heard of this shop if not let me introduce you to At atsuko atsuko i say atsuko when i see it so atsuko um they had when i first saw this jersey i didn't buy it the first time I, i'll be honest with you i didn't buy it it sold out but when i saw that i restocked it <laughs> my baby shagayo again if you don't know anything about this you should you should watch mob psycho 100 this jersey oh my god like when i saw it, and again like i said <laughs> me with the you will see a common theme this is extremely extremely oversized like it's 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 yeah I, you can't see my full body right now but when i put this on you will see just how much so when i was buying this i had the intention of definitely styling it more into you know that that jersey dress era that if you if you're old enough you you know about that era so that was my inspiration for this look today but yes i freaking love 
love this jersey even though i fully had almost the, the intention of just wearing it as a dress of course i can still dress this with some pants i kind of again still trying to do like a more baggier look um just kind of it's a jersey so you can do it as a layer you can throw a hoodie underneath when especially when we start getting colder you can wear it just is with nothing underneath and just kind of have a more chilled out look so yeah i i was excited for that one i was excited when i saw that one i was excited for my baby shit gale like honestly i need i feel like mob psycho is due for a, a rewatch so that might be coming up for me so yeah all right we have another item from atsuko um this one just like the last one i did not buy it the first time that i saw it it sold out so when they restocked it i bought the shit out of this so <sighs> cowboy bebop something that you will learn about me and maybe if you've seen some of my other videos if you have returned you may see sprinkles of cowboy bebop in some of my videos perhaps if you're looking close enough but i absolutely love cowboy bebop i love the aesthetic of cowboy bebop i love the music of cowboy bebop so of course i had to buy stuff with cowboy bebop and this one has our favorite bounty hunter, Spike Spiegel. I said that so extra, but girl. And then this color, mostly that that's really was the thing that I love this. Like with this anoric, I loved the color. It was just so bold and so bright, but also it was just Cowboy Bebop. So of course I was going to get it, but yeah, I absolutely love this one. I got this one in a size large, so it's not, super duper oversized um like because i was contemplating between the large and the extra large but i got the large and at the beginning i kind of wanted the extra large because i was like oh i wanted it to be a little bit more but i was like you know what this fits okay this fits fine it has like a drawstring at the bottom so i can kind of if i wanted to give it like a baggy but a crop look i could do something like that or just kind of still have it sit open and kind of loose but it's it's not it's it's a good kind of oversized for me so honestly i i'm glad that i got the large because i probably would have ended up with the extra large and been in a damn dress again like everything else which by the way the mob psycho was a size large um the nana shirt i believe it she had her size charts and it said oversized and i think for the inuyasha that was an extra large so if anybody needs size references for what it is that I got, those were the sizes for those. I, yes, steady hands. The cardigan of all cardigans. The cardigans that will restart and reboot my cardigan collection along with sweater vests because he hinted it. And yes, I, I will be falling um but yes i have the how cardigan this cardigan first off i as you can see is <laughs> extremely oversized but i will show you like my little trick of how i because i i i am i am i am drowning in this so what i like to do with this specific sweater is i'll kind of just like tuck it under my bra and kind of give it like this cropped oversized look and kind of like slouch it off my shoulders so it just kind of gives like an off the shoulder look uh so so that way it's not looking completely like i should not be in this but yeah that's how i kind of did this one i think in general with his sweater which i I have ordered more and I got a smaller size, like just one size down. Like for reference again, this is I think like the extra large to extra large because I assumed that, oh, this would be the right kind of oversized that I'm looking for, not knowing that, oh, this is just a little too much. So I sized down just a little bit, but I think the only thing that I really noticed the most that makes this the most kind of inconvenient is just the long arms but i do remember in one of his stories he talked about 
I think kind of doing something about that. So if you do also want an oversized look, I would go, you can probably either go true to size or just the next size, not two sizes up, but just the next size, but just know that the arms will kind of be long on you. So yeah. Howl's Moving Castle is my favorite, one of my favorite movies, my favorite Studio Ghibli movie out of the collection. So of course this had to be my first Steady Hands cardigan that I got was Howl's Moving Castle. So yeah. All right, so for these next few items that I'll be showing, these are from creators that, now this specific one, I do believe he does restocks like a lot more, but you, you you still gotta be you gotta be like lightning your wi-fi gotta be just right so i managed i managed to get a project maury shirt and i i'm sure again for those who know you you know who this is and i was happy that the one that i was able to get was samurai shampoo because again i the art the music the style I also love Samurai Shampoo. So when I was able to grab this and I love this color, I think this one was called Bone, which I really like his color palettes that he does is kind of more muted and pastel colors with um, bold prints. So I really love that. And of course I still love the art style that goes along with it. But I was so happy when I was able to get this sweater. It is so comfortable. It is so thick. Honestly, I don't even, I think I bought this in the spring and I don't think I've been able to really wear it. So now that the weather is changing, I know that I'm definitely going to get some wear out of this, but I'll have to be careful because it's probably going to get dirty very quickly, but she will be worn and she will be worn a lot for styling purposes. I mean, again, it's a sweatshirt, so I tend to do things more casual and because I also bought this one, I think I got this one on a size large. I don't know if there's a size on here but i believe i got a size large so again that oversized look so this one it's it's kind of thick but this one i can think i can get away with a tuck um into the pants or again just like flipping it into my bra whatever to kind of give like that cropped look or just kind of wearing it out looking more casual kind of just on the baggier side the baggier look so that's kind of how I envision styling this one. I, I I managed to get two, not one, but two Project Mori pieces, and I got a no skay. Um, I probably don't mind mixing my anime when I wear them on my body, but for the sake of this video, I'm just showing a two and one together. So yes, I got the Anosuke shorts. I love this again. I love the print. It's nice and bright and vibrant. And honestly, I was super, I was kind of worried it would be smaller because sometimes when you're looking at something online, if you're looking at a website or just even on somebody's Instagram page, something looks like you, it's kind of hard to scale it and be like, is that gonna be big? Am I really gonna spend this much for something that tiny? But this is actually, it's, it's bigger than I thought and I, I believe it's definitely well worth it. Like I've even washed it in. The print looks still very, very good. Um, one thing I will say when it comes to buying from Instagram pages or whatever, even if it's somebody that you know, or you've seen merch from by somebody that you personally know or not, definitely the washing instructions make sure that they have them if they don't ask them what they recommend because I have I have ruined a shirt or two I, I none of these thank goodness but I would highly recommend just making sure washing instructions you follow them to the best that you can or because I mean you know again that's something that you would never really think it's like oh you you don't know how to wash clothes bitch you don't know how to wash a screen print but I know I can't be the only one who have, who has swept up a screen print. So definitely pay attention to washing instructions. Follow the washing instructions because you really just want these pieces to last. Like it's already done very well, but just to ensure that you keep that longevity of that print, especially for however much you decided to pay for that. And especially because some of these things, they they sell out so fast, like you, you want it to last. So definitely my tip would be to really pay attention to um, washing instructions and following those as best you can. 
<laughs> all right the next creator the quality when you get it it's just like bro i i get why this took its time so if you do not know about a creator named nami Ware, i suggest you check their page out he does he's more of um a pre-order made to order type of page so this is one that you will definitely have to wait but i truly believe that his items are well worth the wait uh even if it is like delays because especially because a lot of these creators some of them are small businesses and really understanding that when you're buying from a small business you're dealing with smaller teams sometimes just a team of one so being a little patient under being more understanding especially knowing that you're dealing with manufacturers from outside that are outside of their control like keep that in mind if you do decide to buy from small businesses in that way but he dropped this dope ass my hero collection and the the color first of all honestly that that I saw the pictures and sometimes again, sometimes when you're looking at something through the phone screen, you don't really know how that color is really looking, how bold is gonna look, whatever. But when I got these, yo, this green, this is a nice green in the screen print. Like when I say quality, and this is like a heavy weight, but not like a too heavy weight, I recommend. Uh, I think he he has done, like he normally doesn't do restocks he says but he's done a couple version variations of some things so definitely keep an eye on his Instagram he posts like all the time on any updates that anything that's going on any issues he is quick to let you know so I highly recommend I absolutely love to the embroidery of the of his branding on the sleeve let me see if I can get a little closer but this is super dope and of course i i i got the scent so here are the pants the matching pants that go with it these are like i said fire fire and the print the print is way bigger than i thought it was going to be and i i absolutely love it like I really just love this green, the green on that red. And I believe this one was the the Deku, the Deku color set. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, this one was the Deku color set. So, but quality, like even to the drawstrings, he kind of has like the metal. They're like metal drawstrings. So it's not something again that will easily be messed up in the wash. Like sometimes you get the plastic and over time it'll kind of split and it'll just kind of start fraying, but fire. And then the zip, like, come on, come on. You're not finding joggers like this at the store that has the zipper closure. Like, and it's like a nice thick zipper. I exaggerated, I apologize, but quality, quality. And of course, when it comes to sets, the per the good thing about buying sets is that you have like three outfits in one. Like you can wear the sets together, you can wear the top by itself, and you can wear the bottom by itself. So interchangeable, like you sets are some of my favorite things to buy and some of the easiest things when it comes to just putting an outfit together like sometimes you can tuck it in to make it look like a one piece again tuck it out to kind of give it more relaxed look and i kind of at first i really was expecting the pants to be baggier but they're they are a little more tapered on the leg but i actually don't mind it yeah and then with those of course i think i got both the sh the sweatshirt and the pants in a size large um, one is set, uh, which transition, I got it in maroon too. And this is, I think this one is the, the hot spirit color way, however you want to say it, but I also got it in maroon. So one of them, I think I have the shirt in a large and the other one I have an extra large, but both pants I have in a size large, but vibrant colors super vibrant colors, super comfortable, just in time for when the weather starts getting colder and stuff like that. Like these will be super perfect for that. So highly, highly recommend.
but of course the cool thing about collecting anime merch is that you can collect whatever it is that you want you can collect the t-shirts if those are what you're looking for you can collect now that people are pushing more for women's wear if that's what you want to collect if you want to collect those sets that are more subtle and minimal that still kind of gives a nod to anime i think that that's like just super cool that you have all these creators coming out and just doing all these things and elevating the way you can wear your anime merch so kudos to them all right and those were all my pieces for this video uh let me know if there were any that you really liked maybe i was able to introduce you to somebody online that you hadn't heard of before and now you're interested in following them maybe i introduced you to a new way of styling these pieces so just if there's anything just let me know down below um let me know what, what are you watching right now i finished tokyo revengers now i'm ready to read i'm not much of a manga reader but this one we're picking that up digitally because that's all that's available but anyways if there are more videos that you're interested that you'd want to see from me definitely let me know down below if there are any questions that you may have let me know of course if you like the video you can give it a thumbs up uh if you're interested in coming back to this mess that is my channel you're more than welcome to subscribe but you're obviously not obligated and of course you can check me out on instagram at okami lynn um i'm i'm getting into tiktok um i i'm trying to understand tiktok so i do have one i'm not sure by the time this video goes up if i'll have something posted but you can check me out over there at the same name okami lynn um and i think that is about it so i will catch you in the next video all right bye